All right, guys, welcome to Rock the Cradle. Just a quick little breakdown about favors and assets. Additional secure point is useful. It allows you to get the paintings that are upstairs. There are five of them out without having to bring them downstairs. That's super nice, but I'm still having a hard time getting a bunch of these favors, so I really wouldn't worry about it. This will be a run that doesn't use any of them. Crypto wallet extends how long you have to pick up the crypto wallet after the alarm goes loud. I don't think this is super useful. You can pick it up decently late if you were on your way to get it already when you get caught. And if you weren't, I don't think you're getting it. Additional keycard helps you get downstairs easier. That's nice, but I'm going to show you a route that makes it kind of irrelevant. Zipline bag is actually useful. I'll try and show this off if I end up going down there. Uh, this allows you to go from the elevator downstairs back upstairs, therefore letting you go back and get the paintings if you're going to do a full pull on this map. And you've already kind of just rushed downstairs like we're going to. Zipline bag is okay, but only if you're going for a full pull. This is not going to be a full pull. I will tell you how to do it in this run. I'm not going to. The run would be four times as long or more, and it's just... That's not what we're here for today, boys. Nice, quick, easy run through Overkill Neon Cradle. All right. So first off, I've got my perks that with Rush allow me to instantly lock pick a door. I can get Rush from running and a Rush from being seen by these guards. Pop the door in front of them. We'll run right up the stairs here. I like to hack this camera just because it makes my life a little bit easier. So we'll loop that. There's two paintings in there. A guard there, a guard there, and another camera there. I have that other camera hacked though, so I can kind of chill over here. That guard will walk back over this way. This guard goes to the bathroom. I want to be seen by him for a sec to get my rush perk. That'll allow me to get in there, which is where we're going. I'll show off the paintings, though. In here, there's a painting there and a painting there. You can pull them off the wall for loot. Same with the other room across. There are people in that other room, so be a little careful. You can approach that camera or loop it underneath it. We'll throw our mask on at this point. Up into the vents. Drop down here. Know that every time you're hacking one of these speakers, the camera across from you can see you. That's the one you're going to want to LOS if it's facing your way. If it's not, this is super easy. Just like that. You don't want to be out in the open trying to hack this. And then over here, it can't see you facing in the same direction. So that's all four. Super easy to do. Now to round this time in the timing of the map, a guard over there will be coming. Now, here he comes. He's going to sit down next to the DJ and chill for a little bit. Uh, I use him as a timer to figure out when the lead guard's coming. You can jump down early and do this with the DJ, but if you do and he gets to this point, he'll shut the music off himself, sending the bouncer back on you. It can be a whole mess. Sometimes it's easier just to wait. So if we wait, we're going to let him walk just a little bit. I want a bit more time for the lead guard. Then we can walk up beside the DJ and screw with his music in front of him. We'll walk up behind this guard real quick. Uh, pop the door because I kind of need it to be open. And then we'll go back up into this corner. The bouncer should come through that door right about now. There he is. And if our timing is right, directly behind him will be the head guard. Head guard's going to go into this room and stand against the speaker and face that way. Uh, we're okay with that. That doesn't screw us up at all. Hello? Game? Game? Oh, hack the radio. Ooh, almost didn't get that. So he's going to walk in here. We can walk up and grab that. Hacking him is going to make him forget what he was doing. So he's not going to turn the music off, which is the most important part to me. We open this door, just crouch walk straight on through. If you hold W, nobody will see you. Click this, hide right here. No one will see you. No one will come this way and see you. You have plenty of time. The bouncer's on his way back, but you got time. Playing that music makes the guy behind the bar and the second bouncer leave. Gives you lots of time. When that lead guard comes back downstairs, though, he's now going to come down here. You can challenge these cameras by running and sliding at them. They're fine usually where I mask up if I'm doing it a different route. Come in here. This is the objective for later. So we'll shoot this. As we go to a private area here, I can sprint again. No one will hear me. So we can just run fully through here. The IT room can spawn in three locations. That guy tells you where it is. So that bouncer being down there tells me the IT room is in that corner. If he's in that room down there, the kind of back kitchen cafeteria thing, then it'll be over there. And if he's standing underneath where we are right now, instead of this guard, then it'll be in there. So I can see him. I know it's over here. We'll go to the bathroom. Shoot this open. Come up here. Find out that our switch is B300 green. Coming back. The only guard for this back corner is that guy. So knowing where he is kind of lets you do whatever you want. Camera there. Some people can see you here, but if you're quick, it won't matter. 
Uh, that guard is probably up in his corner position again. Corner. Yep. He hangs out there. I could wait for him. I don't like waiting for anybody. So we'll hack his radio. There's a camera right there you can hack, but again, don't need to. There's a guard for that same area, that one guard, right there. Over there. He patrols down this walk area, and then he goes down there, and he'll stand right there. Just know about him. He can be a pain in the ass if you're trying to take the boxer out I just took, and he happens to be there. You might have to wait for him or give the camera and his phone a quick hack. And this is payday three. You don't have to wait for nobody if you don't want All to. Right. All right, so do that. We're back out here, so I can go back to sprinting and running. That guy's just doing his little circle. Uh, a cool one I like to use sometimes is we'll come up here and we'll hack this. I know he's underneath me right now, so I'll do this. Oh, he got too far away. Sometimes you can make him hear you, and he'll come up into this office, and then he's just not there to bother you later. You can also use it to get rushed like I did. I've got the perk with rush that allows me to bag 50% faster, so we just come back here. Grab that super quick. The drop-off is either going to be over there by that same guard we've been circling, or over here in this corner. I will show you guys that if you come over here, it is best... Just hack this. And if you have to go to this corner, walk up this door a little. And he will tell you, whoa, hey, no, you can't do that. And you can hack his arm through the door, and you can literally just walk over there. We're not going to, because I don't have that drop-off, but if you have that drop-off, that, that's the play. You just walk out, you can sprint out, there's a camera up in the corner, you just go whoop, and end up underneath that bar right there. Crouch walk out, and you're good. Watch the guard. This guard is doing, uh, his square either goes this way or that way. I knew he was going to come this way because of earlier, so just, you know, don't be seen by him. He only walks in a square here. You got your crypto, you can throw it in there. That other guard that's could be walking through here, just make sure he's not in the way, make sure that camera's not... I mean, it can be seeing you like I just showed, but obviously don't stand in front of it. That is Rock the Cradle Stealth. It's super easy. The elevator room I was talking about earlier, here, this room can have the accountant in it and a couple of guys playing poker. One of these poker rooms will have guys playing poker with a thing of money on it if you want the money. There's a room way down at the far end there, here, and one across the way uh, next to that bathroom I went in earlier. This is the elevator. Hitting this button opens the elevator shaft on both floors. So that is usually blocked off up there, but now it's open. You can take this, chuck it here. That allows you to go up and down as you please. Just be aware that up there is a, like a guard and a guy are usually talking in that hallway and you can take care of them whenever you'd like. If you're looking for extra loot, there is six bags of cocaine down here. There's one here. I'm just waiting for that guard to patrol through. I don't know where he is right now. There's one here, there's one, like, there. That room can either be the IT room, the security room, or the vault. That's where the other possible spawn is. Uh, the vault password, if you're looking for extra loot, is up there in the assistant manager's office where we hacked the computer earlier. Okay. You can use the password in that room. There's one of three using your UV light to check the code and know where you have to drop your stuff off. So the vault can be there, coke there, coke there. I'll let this guard come through real quick so I can show you where the other coke the is. All right. So if we come back through here, there's a bag of coke right here at the end. There's, oh. Let's not get myself caught real quick. There's a bag of coke. Sir, guard. please, I'm trying to show people how they can get their freak on. Thank you. There's a bag of coke upstairs in the closet in the assistant I want to say assistant manager, but it's the accountant's office. Uh, and there is a final bag of coke just down past there yeah. when I poked my head out and hacked the bouncer's arm earlier. There was a bag of coke behind me in that room. So with the five paintings upstairs, the six bags of coke down here, the one bundle of money that I was talking about. Oh, there's the head guard. Guard, over there. You can tell he's got that weird patrol route. He come all the way down through there, around everywhere, up here. I usually keep a motion tracker on him while I was learning the map. But there's the gambling room there, the one I showed off there, and then one way down there in the corner. And one of them will have the accountant and a stack of money. There's the six coke boxes for you. There's the five paintings upstairs. And then there's all the money in the vault, which like I said, can spawn either down at the far end there, right down below, over there where the IT room is. Down, down. Down, sir. Easier. 
Careful of these civvies. They get seen over this railing super easy, and I've blown heists just walking to the escape all the time. But yeah, that's this map on stealth. And all possible loot locations. It's very, very simple. It's a really, really fun map to learn. There's also a way that you can get the VIP pass upstairs and be able to walk past the bouncer. It was bugged for the longest time. I don't know if it's fixed yet. I just find it faster to go that route. Um, I'm also hopefully posting a how to speed run this video or map video up as well, where you just straight run into the club at the beginning and you're downstairs in 20 seconds. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helps you out a little bit. Get your heist on. Have some fun. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.